So now let's create our turbulence. And I'm going to do this using a VOP SOP. This is just a container for some VOP code. Now let's dive inside. And I'm going to maximize my view. So we get, by default, some global variables and an output. And what we're going to do is take the position value P, change it, and put it back into the position value. So let's start by getting in a rank parameter, which we earlier added. I'm going to color this uh, red. So what this is going to do is pick up the attribute we've placed on all of the points called rank. And that's why I've made it invisible here so that it doesn't uh, show up in our parameter editor. And then I'm going to use that as the input to a ramp parameter. And I'm going to call this turb profile. I put $OS in here, then the parameter name will take its name from the name of the node. And I'm going to put turbulence profile. The next thing I'm going to do is create our noise. And for that, I'm going to use turbulent noise node. And our position is going to go in here. Let me edit some of the parameters. I'm going to use sparse convolution noise because this varies between minus 1 and plus 1, which is what we want. And I want 3D noise. And I'm going to create parameters for all of the other inputs. Apart from, let's move these up. Amplitude. I'm going to get rid of that. Let's select the rest of these. Bring up a color box using C and color them light yellow so that we know that they're parameters. I'm now going to add a separate parameter which is going to be a three float parameter and I'm going to increase that to 1 for the defaults and this is going to be turb amp so we need to multiply the output of the turbulent noise by the amplitude and also by this factor derived from the profile. And then I need to add the result of that, which should be a vector, it is, to our position and then put the sum back in to the position. So let's see whether that's worked. Let's have a look at our bop sop and I can see there's a problem already which is that the turbulence profile is giving us a color ramp. Now in fact what I want is a spline ramp. And if we make our spline have a higher value nearer to 1, i.e. at this end of the trails, and we can see already 
that we just put the display flag on here that we're getting some turbulence. Let's play that through. It's rather jiggly and I think that's because our frequency is too high. So let's change the frequency and I'm going to change the amplitude uh, which um, like that and the amplitude has been misnamed for some reason. getting much noise. Let's up the amplitude a little bit. And let's up the frequency a bit. There we are. The other thing we need to do is offset this with time. So if I animate the offset parameter with a simple formula, that will ensure that the noise doesn't stay stationary. Let's have a look at what that looks like. And there we have it. A trail with turbulence. So finally, to render these uh, as curves, I'm going to need to add another attribute which is the width. And we're going to add it to points, and I'm going to give it a value of 0.1. Now I've already got a camera set up. I haven't actually got a camera set up. Let's set one up. There's a camera and I want a light and then I'm going to create a render node and let's go on to our IPR render view and render. Well we've got a number of things that we don't really want to see. Uh, I've got the curve showing, which I don't want, and I've got the box showing, which I don't want. And there are our trails. Let's move the camera position a little bit. And try again. And there are the trails. Now, that's enough for this tutorial. There are other things that you can do to make this more sophisticated. In particular, you can shade uh, the trails so that the trail off and the alpha becomes zero towards the end. And we can do that quite simply using our rank attribute. And we can also uh, create a particle system, for example, which emits particles from the last of the points on each trail, creating the impression that they're uh, disappearing off into particles. But both of those are beyond the scope of this tutorial.